All right, see if I can get that going. Hello, everybody. Welcome. <clears throat> now, I don't have my microphone right in front of me. Which I probably should. Uh, I wonder if I can do that. Hang on a second. Anyway, we're, we're trying to get everything back together. <laughs> mm, I'm not sure I've got the room for it. It's not any problem. Where am I going to put this? No, okay. Thought I might be able to do something there. All right. Uh, can we? All right, cool. <clears throat> You can go down, you can go down. Country bumps on my six months. Awesome. Alright. I've got everything else working. I think I have. Making sounds. Okay, now it's good. Oh, everybody's doing it. <laughs> ah, Mr. and Mrs. TPHI, 12 months. Thank you, guys. Um, now, I'm going to quickly go back through uh, chat. Mrs. is the first one here. Tanner, mate, is this a little bit too loud? Have we got too much sound here? Let's hop inside where it's a little quieter. Yeah. Oh, I've got a few F15s. I don't know why I've got F15s here. There we go. Reynolds, uh, sorry, sorry, Tanner Reynolds, mate, welcome. Uh, Venino, hello and welcome. Kanga, is there one? Hello. Mr. TPHI thinks my PC is, is still on vacation. I think you're right. Um, I did have a good time. I did a lot of, uh, a lot of dinkum though. A lot of dinkum. Um, and I did that thing for you, Mrs. TPHI. So, when you're ready. Uh, Master Game Drama, hello. Welcome. All right, let me make sure that actually microphone's working. So I've got more than one uh, microphone here now. There it is. Yes, it is. All right. And that would be Mr. TPHI's. Yep. But did you see the SoFly Dinosaur Flight video? I did see a thumbnail, but I've been so busy catching up and doing everything. Um, Add-on is neat and free. All oh, the dino ones free. I'm thinking, who's going to pay for dinosaur stuff? Do you know what I might do? I might actually... I'm going to start with the glasses so I can read this fine print. Hey, there we go. Connor, mate. G'day. Gowan, almost missed you with some hype. Thank you very much. All right. Um, flight. i got the information above. Yes, I do. Okay. Uh, altitude at 46 feet. So do a barrow. Yep. Heading 139, right? I haven't done anything. So I've got the fly information up above as well. I'm doing well, kind of, mate. I'm doing well. I've sat here for half an hour trying to get my sim started. Um, now, I don't have volume for the music to turn it down. I've got a new toy for streaming. But uh, because the software updated... You know, let me get this on screen. Because the software updated... Um, I can't control all my individual sounds because uh, it, it stopped working, but I got one of these. So this is the Razer Loop Deck. All right. Connor says I missed the TTS. Oh, I'm, I'm not here. We'll be back in a few watching SpaceX launch. All right, I'll, I'll just sit here and wait. Yeah, no, I won't. I'll get going. Um, pre-flight, okay, my plane's in pre-flight, that's good. Uh, I need that one on. Standby. Reset, thank you, and let's get the starter on. With the beacon light on, thank you. Here, prop. All right, I do have my Toby uh, available as well, so I can look around. Um, I probably won't be using that today. 
because uh, it does move a little bit faster. I maybe use it sometimes, but maybe not in this one. All right, turn that sound down, didn't I? All right. Um, <clears throat> I miss ETS2 and ATS. Yes, truck sim. Right, get that on there. Let's get the other one on here. Some navs. Taxi. Uh, Seatbelt doesn't actually work, which is a bit of a shame. Cabin does. Okay, you already started, so we can pop you back down. Thank you. Um, which one is this? One of these ones. I think it's not that one, this one. Not working? Okay. Oh, not working. Lights up the things a lot better anyway. We'll go without it because we've got plenty of light. I'm on real time, uh, real weather as well. All right, so let's get this started. Where are we taking off from and to? Oh, yeah, I've got my, uh, my pilots in there, the uh, World War II one. So this is Skytrans. Skytrans is a real life uh, airline. Well, somebody else is in one as well. Um, I did put the link in the description. Okay, we've got an F5 and a couple of F... No, wait, that's not... That's an F15 over there. This is a SU-27, isn't it? Yeah. All right, I guess we're going out that way. All right. got that on. Uh, is it that button to turn that off? Yeah, there we go. Do you know what? I might leave that on for a second. Hey, that works well. Okay, then I can tell which airport runway I'm supposed to take off from. The Tango's got the uh, take off. Which way is the wind coming from? No data. Jackal is in a F-22. You're going to be you're going to be there in like a minute. You're a short flight. So my taxi says that we're taking off from the other end. Is that correct? Taxi out. No, it's actually, that was it. We can take off from here, can we? Okay. Uh, let's just put that on there. Let's put on landing lights. Taxi off. Park off, music stop. William, good morning. Let's give this a run. Oh, yeah, it's a bit of a oh, almost no nothing into the um, the wind. Maybe a slight, slight left. It looks very close. Oh, there we go. All right, flight level is, I uh, don't know because I didn't press the uh, key. So let me just uh, trim you slightly up. And let's go, you know what, let's take that, that. Uh, Let's put you on heading for now and turn you to there and press flight. Flight level uh, 510. Okay, let's go to 510. For this flight, there we go. Thank you. I'll take some of your dampener and a vertical speed of 500 will do. Okay, there we go, we're up. 
Well, hey, hey, welcome home. Yay, flight simulator. <laughs> happy to see you flying again. Yeah, me too. Very happy to fly. Uh, missing it. Missing it, missing it, missing it. Now, let me know if that microphone is loud enough. I might get my new loop deck box. Put my microphone on it. There we go. So we're doing this island flight stuff. So it's Horn Island. Oh, Mr. TPHO is in. Sorry, I took off without you. Um, Horn Island to... Hey, Icarus is here. G'day, Icarus, mate. Uh, to... Werribur Island and back again. And then... Um, oh, yeah, the information's working on the uh, top there. That's good. Uh, and then... Say open widget. How's the stream coming through? Is it is it actually coming through okay? Because the internet's complaining. It's not sending the eight megabit per second that I give it, but um I'd have to have a look at that later. <clears throat> All right. Um, we're not quite on the course. Let's get over onto the course. Here we go. Up to five, one. We're not going to get there quick enough. So let's actually run this at a thousand feet per minute. That is short flight. These are lots of short little flights. Um, Doesn't say how long. What, what have we got? Uh, 32 nautical miles. Wow, that is not very far, is it? So lots of little island flights. <clears throat> All right, what are we at? Uh, 2,000. I can actually turn off the landing lights, I guess. Now, I don't remember where I kept losing points before other than flaps uh, down. So let's have a quick look at this on here. So we're basically going one island to another and then back again, and then we go out to another and back again. What I'm thinking about doing next week, though, because I want to do this each week, one, one uh, pilot's life uh, each week, is getting a longer flight. I just let it choose whatever, and it chose this. I'm thinking if I can potentially get uh, I don't know Brisbane the Cairns that might be a bit long in one of these but I do have a Cessna license and I could potentially fly the longitude and um, what's the other one CJ4 is a Cessna isn't it I think so so we could potentially fly a jet uh, but Skytrans definitely takes um Okay, there we go. Jackals in the Cessna, not the uh, the jet. Yep, cool. Um, they, I, I don't know if they fly longitude. I think they fly at dash eight or something as well. Let me have a look <clears throat> in the job market. How do I look up a company? Sound Air Skytrans. Skytrans, how do I look up the information? There we go, info. It's thinking, it's thinking, there we go. Here we go, let's put this on the screen. So this is where we can fly. Um, yeah, Dash 8. I don't have a Dash 8, but I could buy one in game. Where do they fly? They fly from. <clears throat> is that. BCS, BCS, what is, it? why BCS, I don't care. um, Brisbane is it? Oh no, hang on, they've got a whole bunch of them here. There, yeah, Brisbane, there, YBBN. Yeah, might have to do some of those. 
Um, some of the longer flights here. Don't know. Oh, long reach to Brisbane. Yeah, okay, so you can see uh, some of the potential flights I might be able to get. At the moment, we're obviously doing all the Horn Island stuff. Um, but we can get into cans and stuff. That'd be, that'd be good. I'd like that. I would like that. So we've got five 208s, five uh, DH8As, and two DA8, DH8Cs. All right, we're on GPS now, are we? I think we are. Don't know how long today's flights will take. Um, I actually don't think they're very long. So if we do all six flights in like no time, we might just uh, redo a schedule that is longer and see if we can get one long flight. So it could be six short flights in the first hour or, or uh, two, and then maybe one where we go a little bit further the next contract but how is everybody was everybody going off to watch the uh, the SpaceX rocket launch oh I don't have my uh, Xbox controller yeah I wonder if I can get that maybe after we land oh it's probably you can see we're halfway already Yo, two months, mate. Twenty-nine months. Twenty-nine months. Holy schmoly! I'm gonna have to get a new badge for some of you guys. I don't know how far it goes, but thank you very much. Mrs. TPHI is doing great. She's not gonna try that. Um... Oh, why have I got that? Oh, it's my event log. Oh, that's why it does that. All the sponsors. Oh, that's good. Um, I'm here. I was at a funeral today, uh, which was sad. But he was a good old boy, born in 44. Uh, great three-sided sandwiches. Great three-sided sandwiches. What's becoming a member cost uh, in Australian dollars or US? Because there's two levels. Um, I can't remember the US ones. I think the the base one's 99 cents uh, or dollar 49, and the other one's 5.99 Australian. But I don't know what that is in US. I think it's 3.99 or 2.99. Um, millions. <laughs> Yes, I did my homework. <clears throat> you got to put in an exclamation mark, Mrs. TPHI, I think. You're going to make me look it up. It is. Mrs. TPHI, exclamation mark, Mrs. TPHI. So it's about $34 a month. <laughs> no, it's not per day. 99 cents a month. It's a bit of oh. <sighs> banana bread. And if you don't know what that's from, you had to be there. One Canadian dollar. That's right. Yeah. There's two levels. There's the cheap one, and then there's the uh, top level one. I have no idea which island we're landing on. Um, not that little one right in front of me, is it? That, that's that's too close. Twelve nautical miles. Y yeah, it is. Oh wow. Okay, I might uh, start descending, and uh, I didn't actually do a proper flight on this, so maybe the next one we'll do an approach and everything. Um, Twelve and thirty, and what we got? We got uh, wind from behind at. Uh, I think that 12 might be a, the way to go. 
two knot wind. There's there's like no wind up here. Okay. Hey, give me one back, mate. Welcome. Dollar twelve Canadian. Yeah, ninety nine cents or dollar forty nine Australian. Um, I need to descend. Let's back this off. Hello, I'm trying to press you. No, no, don't go up and down. Just press. Thank you. Alright, thank you. Barrow's only changed once. Uh, I didn't do the full approach stuff, so I might have to do that um, on the next loan. Uh, how home sweet home? Now? Now home sweet home, yeah. Uh, that's taxes included. Yeah, yeah, taxes included. If we come in from runway 12, we probably need to be turning slightly. I'm tempted to try the uh, head tracking thing, but I haven't. Oh, it's got my head. Oh, because the microphone's in the way. There we go. How's that? And then we can look out the window. Well, I haven't got my three screens on at the moment, but we'll work on that later. No, no, no. I don't think I don't want that. I'm going to take the AP off. We are on initial approach. I am going to come in from... Is it runway 12? I think so. I've never been out here before. That never gets old. Uh, was it a satellite launch or was it another, is it number four, um, Starship Four? I'll run that down to a thousand. Sorry, going. Who's old? No, Starship launch. Uh, sorry, um, Starlink launch. Yeah, that's uh, super fair. Can I sub for a certain time, or must I do it reoccurring? You can do it just one time. <coughs> yeah, yeah, it, it works. It works with just one one go. Uh, you can do one month, or you can cancel whenever you like. There's no, there's no. Um, there's no lock-in terms. There, there, there is no lock-in. Um, I'm going to look back there, okay. I need landing lights on. Menino's coming in from the other end. I figure there's like a, near, a zero knot. I don't know why they've got a direction. It says zero knots. Let's take landing flaps. All right, where's that? Oh, I got my trim up. Okay, let's redo that. Oh, this is where the head tracking thing would be good. Yep, just look over there. Michael, mate. Michael from Canberra, welcome. Oh, I needed my Xbox controller so I can just turn the head slightly. I'll pick it up um, after. Well, oh, actually, it's sealed. It's not dirt. Nice. Where are we going? Werribur Island. I actually wonder what they do out here besides 
fishing, I guess. Oh, now we got a one knot tail, you know, we. It's a short runway. It's a short island. I know the runway is pretty much the, the whole width of the island. That's why they have these type of aircraft coming in. It's either that or a helicopter. They might have tourism here. Is that a little pink plane on the end of the uh, side of the runway? And who's in the generic? Why can't we get rid of those? stands out really well all right sass mate you shouldn't be here there's no way you'd be landing here all right i got a lady who's uh a lady i don't know somebody with long hair who's directing me in I didn't put my taxi lights in. Oh, oh no, I forgot to. Oh, there's points deducted. Taxi in. Lights on. Oh, I didn't put my strobe on the whole flight. You idiot, Brett. Put it on when you're taking off. Okay, I got I got heaps of points lost there. <laughs> oh no, oh, I'm gonna so lose points. I'll be lucky to get in the nineties in that one. Strobe light failed, taxi light failed. Flaps up. I still get the flaps up wrong. How? How do I get the flaps up wrong? Fine, just turn the battery off. Um, I got a 96. How did I get a 96? All right, I forgot the strobe. I know that part. And I didn't turn the taxi light on on the way in. I know that part. But the flaps, I, I put them up as I landed. Uh, but, but I didn't. Okay. You getting buffering? Yeah, YouTube's complaining tonight. Um... That should be fine. Yeah, I think I had the same when I had that information bar at the top. I may end up having to turn. No buffering there. Okay, it might be your end. All right. Um, I got a 96. I actually thought I'd go worse than that. But, um, okay, let's submit that. Flight is submitted. All right, um, we're actually taking off from here, so I'm going to do the return flight, and I'm actually just going to do a turnaround. So, um, all right, let's do a full turnaround, but I'm going to have to use this and put in a new... Oh yeah, power's off. Okay, battery on. 
avionics one on should have enough fuel yep right yep plenty of fuel flight plan uh, is there a way of turning those around can't remember um, <coughs> Oh, wait, hang on. Let's just go back and go this one and go... Oh, no, you can't. Set destination. All oh, right. Ah, oh, set origin. There we go. YWBS. Enter. Yep. And... Uh, this one, remove. Okay. And this one uh, set as destination. Uh, oh wait, no, it already is. Oh, okay, so it doesn't want me to. Okay. Why hit enter? Um, I think that'll work. It hasn't actually come up on the thing. Why? Do you know what? It may be safer to load out. Okay, here we go. Departure. Airport. Yep. I'm going to load it out. It'll be easier to get a proper thing in there. Um, yes, Michael, I'm still doing ETS tomorrow. I haven't even tried it yet. Um, that's some Gammy on the same network. Is Gammy getting... I thought it was just me. Look, no, you might be. I've, I've found sometimes that that dashboard overlay and the Simbit world... Uh, let's get some music back on while I'm doing this. Uh, mucks up. So what I'll do is I'll probably actually do a... Uh, hang on, we're going YWBS back to horn. I want low level airways. Thank you. There we go. And departure is direct and approach is um, what do you reckon? I actually don't know what the winds are. Uh, 80. Okay, so we're going on up 8. There we go. There we go. That's good. Alright. Uh, real time. Thank you. Yes. And we need to actually be sitting at a parking spot good this one long cable hey there is a long cable there uh but did you answer me wait oh uh, i've tried to do it through youtube and it's only offering me month to month yeah no wait that, that's right hang on uh, but, um how do i join all in one go all what you can only do month to month um and once you you do membership that means you're in it's unlocked and it'll be the same same day each month so what's today's date um 8th of the 4th so 8th of april 8th of every every month i'm going to turn that off thank you um It, it would reactivate if that's what you mean. Let me know if that's actually answering your question. All right, power, avionics. While you do your little thing, I'm gonna put fuel back on. There we go, panel lights did come on, okay. Pedestal is fine, don't need that. I will take you and you. Let's put you there for now. Remind me to... Uh, uh, no, hang on, I only need... Yeah, I need you on normal. And you on start. Hold that music, I want to hear the start. Clear prop. All right. 
no wind data. Let's get the other avionics on. Generators on or normal? I think normal is fine, but we'll put them on. Nav on. Taxi on. We'll put the strobes on once we get to the uh, edge of the run. And recurring a monthly payment until you click cancel. Yeah, yeah, that's how it works. Yeah. It's not very loud from inside. Is it just this aircraft? I think so. That's loud. Oh, I hear Spitfire, that's why. Alright, um... Who's next to me here on the left? I'm probably going to go that way. Did I put my park brake off? I can't remember. Nope. Oh, I don't need the starter on. Alright, off. <coughs> Use some left brake there and turn a little sharper. There we go. Alright, taxi out. Oh, that's Skytrans. Oh, no, it disappeared. It was Skytrans for a second. Uh, it looks good. Which runway are we taking off? It actually looks like we might be going the opposite direction. So, well, somebody's doing the reverse. Okay, you can have it. I'll run down to the other end this time because it looks like the wind's coming not much but from the other end. I'll get the music on after. Um, I am getting a poor feedback from YouTube at the moment though. Although it looks like my my internet's pushing a little bit harder now, which is good. Oh, let's take a left break only then. Oh, we stopped a little bit too much. Oh, somebody's got their uh, tail up in the spitty. Nice. All right, I'll sit on this side here. Let's go. Taxis off. Landing on strobe on this time. Um, streams fine here. Okay, cool. Turn flight is at 5100 again. Okay. Alright, 5100 it is. Look at these little islands. Yeah, you know, I do like how the um the the land the the shoreline is actually lighter and going in there. It actually does look pretty good bit of a reef. Um, I think we're only going once to here and then we're heading to, don't remember the next place. Um, I haven't put the flight plan in 
my music might not be the right music for this, but uh, short flight back. Let's get some more points and try and get our license to something bigger flights. Um, even I'm getting occasional bike ring. Um, I wonder if it is that thing. Turn flight with the uh, little bar at the top. I bet the bike's going to sleep. There you go, I'll wake it up for you. It's a bit of. I want some banana bread now. My heading is off. Okay, so let's let's head it back that way. I'm stage at uh, three. I'll turn the lights off because if I don't turn the lights off before I get to cruise stage, I lose points, which is ridiculous. I'm under 10,000. I'm also going to drop back to our RPM even on the climb, just a fraction. Alright, redo the barrow. I'm going to turn that off for a moment and uh, drink my morning drink, breakfast drink. It's not really banana bread, but ah well. Then on to make banana bread. I, am, I make banana bread too. Maybe not as good as him. Where's my flight plan? At least there, there is one there, but oh, did I still have that on? Did I? Must have. Oh yeah, upside down. Been learning off um, Icarus there. This is TPHI, I think. Yeah, yeah. I got my strobes on. I turned my landing off before I hit cruise. We are so far away from the flight plan, that's why we're not picking it up. Is that XTK that you will cross the track in 28 nautical miles? Seriously? Is that because I'm flying parallel with it? Oh my god. Come on. Let's get back on that flight plan then. XTK. That can't be right. I can't be that far away from the flight plan. I only just took off. That's not the island I just took off from, is it? didn't turn sharp enough, I think is what it was. Alright, how do we zoom this one out?
receiver. Where's my actual zoom out on it? Range. That's probably a good one. There we go. It's not showing up the fly plan. The points lost for not being on the fly plan. Um, I guess we'll find out. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But we got miles off it by going around the island. That's weird. I'm going to bring this around so that I uh, intercept it on a bit of an angle, which would be nice. Although that... Hmm. It says we do 2 to 9 degrees. 2 to 9. That's not where this is pointing. Now I'm doing parallel with it. Right. Okay, so 229 might have got me onto there, but that, that, I think this flight plan's mucked up. Something's mucked up on that one. Let's move that music on. Hmm. I did get a haircut. Uh, are you flying direct? I'm not supposed to be. I, I am supposed to have an approach, so if we put the, uh, well this is actually not showing up, but my approach is actually through uh, HI2W1, HI2WF, and then into runway 8, so, or maybe just, it might only be um, HI2, hang on, let's have a look. Flight plan. Uh, HI2 W1 and WF. Okay, or I, sorry. We, we are actually coming into both of those. But for some reason, I don't know what this is uh, supposed to be. Um, it looks like the flight plan wants to fly direct. But we're not on the approach. Um, oh, there you go. It's actually picking this one up. Where the heck's that one? Over there. Oh, okay, hang on. It might be mucking up my... My fly plan might have completely got... It's actually flying... Trying to fly to there, which is the go-around. Okay, well, let's just change that. Maybe I can get rid of the go-around. And... Let's fly direct to here. Uh, Activate the leg, that'll do. And that actually should be running me directly to, to there. Because there's my runway 8. It was going for the go around. That's weird. Alright, what did that do to my flight plan? That killed it. Alright, so now I can just point to there and make my way around. Alright. First time I had it muck up like that though. <clears throat> Normally it gives you an okay uh, approach or the likes. So I can see it actually it's on here now. Alright. No, it's not the external uh, sim program. It's, it's fine. It's actually connected us fine. Um, I'll show you. This is what I'm using. The career program. It, it has no problem me flying the route. It's me choosing a uh, in sim setup. So because I chose an, an actual approach, not just fly direct. Uh, 
Hey, Ghost Rider. User error, maybe. Look, I, I've done it before. We did it with the uh, the stuff over in New Zealand. We did approaches. We also did um, departure uh, procedures. That was fine. <clears throat> but this one, this one's uh, not liked it. So even though I've activated this way too early, um, I now need to head to it to get to it to for it to actually click on. So technically I should actually be coming in like that, which is where I actually uh, arrange the flight to come in. Low level aircraft, I may end up having to actually put that a few more degrees to the right so that we actually do intersect HI to WI and then it should actually connect should Shipping out here as well. <coughs> We're going to have an ore tanker. Not oil, ore. Coal, iron, probably iron, I don't know. <laughs> CIA black side. Yeah, if it had a helicopter landing on it, maybe. I'm guessing Horned Island is where the, uh, the others have landed and we're going to go past and then a long approach. Almost didn't need to do the full long approach. I, I could do, in this aircraft, easy, just a HI2WF approach, but we won't. Um, I'm using Simbit World's A Pilot Life Chapter 2 um, and it has real life uh, airlines in it as well so I'm actually using real flights so uh, Skytrans who I'm actually flying with show you the aircraft delivery I actually downloaded that Skytrans does fly caravans uh, Cessna Caravan C208Bs is like what I'm flying now they do fly them out of here they also fly it out of Brisbane and Cairns and I may actually see if I can get some jobs, longer jobs than these short, I don't know, 17 minute flights. Um, but I'm doing the GA instead of commercial because I suck at commercial flights, to be honest. It's a good program though, I like it. Gives me a bit of something else rather than just flying one place or another. Talking about though, flying one place or another, I might um, might pop in uh, jet fighter flight or something down low. I'm thinking about Wednesday morning doing a members only flight, and then uh, once it's on members only, it'll stay members only, and then I can. Um, plug in some uh, rock music and stuff. We're going to do a full uh, full 180 almost by the time we get to this one. Alright. Yeah, look, I think um, I'll just call your mother, it's easier. I think so too. I think it will actually will because they've got challenges and um, I don't know about career necessarily but I think they'll have a whole bunch of stuff like the firefighting stuff or the rescue stuff I don't think they'll just be one-off challenges I'm hoping it actually will be a career thing if not I'm sure someone will make uh, one out of that Colonel Indiana long nuts mate thank you Sherry Cole was gifted a membership. Doxy Mum was uh, uh, gifted a membership. Dana Davis was gifted a membership. Brenda Scott 
and a Captain Kookaburra. Welcome and thank you very much. Is that going to make some noises? I think it will. Can I have that button please? Thank you. Take that down at a thousand. I'm going to press stop on that music. Alright. There we go. Uh, no, you can actually get gifted um, even when you're not lurking. I know because I've been gifted before when I've not, and I got a message saying you've been gifted a membership to somebody. I'm like, oh, okay. I wanted to get the viewers now. Oh, who's viewing? Look, they might be. Hello. If you are one of those and you just got gifted a membership, please uh, say thank you to Mr. Colonel Indiana Longnuts in chat. There we go. Initial approach. So we can put our landing lights on now. Thank you. We are not coming down at a thousand feet. did like that uh, Price is Right thing that you put in, the guy putting in $2, I want my $2, wait, whoa, why are we going up? Alright, I'm going to take AP off, trim, thank you, yeah, yeah, that would be better, um, I think what it does is it, it potentially puts those who have been watching um, a lot recently, they might have been watching my, um, might have been watching my Dinkum gameplay a lot recently, so that's why they've been, uh, YouTube chooses the ones that, uh, I don't think it's just, a, oh, wrong button, oh, please don't. I pressed, I meant to press B and I pressed Y, oops. Hopefully that didn't muck up my... Uh, thing. I'm going to actually turn this around and get the approach in now. more than 30 degree descent but I don't know if it's the same with uh, turn Let's find out if you do more than a 30 degree bank I wonder if they complain still going <coughs> uh. <coughs> oh man <coughs> thank you very much going in down a long nuts mate I'm going to get the other set of flaps on, trim out, prop pitch back up. I can turn that, um, turn this off now, although to be honest we are uh, should actually activate this one. Yep, there we go. Thank you. Oh my god, we're at 82. Not. <laughs> lasted longer than a Vader Obi Wan fight. Yeah, yeah. It's because each one does it individually and then stops. Um, sounds like Yoda fighting a... I, look, I, I, it is a lightsaber battle. I used to have... Sorry, I didn't used to. I tried to have an um, animated lightsaber battle fight there. 
um, and it refuses to play. So I, I don't know, maybe I have to try a different bot, try a different way of doing it. Um, This account can't get free ones because it is my secondary account. Tried the first, uh, tried to the first somehow. Yeah, um, I can't give free memberships because this is my secondary account. Had I known that that was going to be a thing, I would have just started a whole brand new uh, Brett Plays email account, YouTube, everything. I do have a Brett Plays. Um, initial account email because I made it after I uh, started this up and I thought oh that'd be a good idea I didn't realize that you weren't going to be able to it's better than George Lucas I have a YouTube kids account yeah okay does that limit your stuff for your kids. Three knot headwind. It's not much of a headwind really to make this approach, but I guess we have picked the right runway. Try flaps up just on landing. Oh, that felt heavy. Flaps up. Well, we'll find out how heavy that was. We got Qantas Link coming in behind us. Uh, I think we need to taxi over to there. Is there. Are you guys just sitting there? You think I was coming in that way? Alright, let's go. Taxi lights on. Landing lights off. HND 6.30 what's a HND airline I don't know place phone here what and walk away slowly I'm trying family friendly but it's uh huh I <laughs> see myself out yeah turn the strobes off so we go across here and we don't know where we're going we're just parking near Icarus I guess there's no nobody waving me in oh oh there's an L17 a pink one nice we're parking behind that
We need to do a flight in that. I've got to work out when. Maybe we can do it on Sunday. We can, um... Alright, got those. Taxi off. Um... Alright, that's the end of my flight. Let's see what we get. Okay, flight report says... Crap, I got the flaps wrong again. <laughs> oh, I can't win. 98. When are you supposed to put flaps up on a GA aircraft after landing? I would have... I've, I've tried it straight away, I've tried it further down the runway, I've tried it on the exit into the taxiway, uh, I've tried it all the way back at stop, I don't know. I've tried not using the flaps and I get it wrong. I can't get more than 98%. Alright, Mr. 98%. Alright, let's submit that. I'll take 98 though. Alright, let's put that music back on. Um, how's the stream going? It seems to be fine. Uh, I don't think we're going to do more than just these six flights, so... We will do another one from here, but I want to do the full turnaround from here. Um, has been submitted. Okay, cool. Next flight is uh, from here. Same place. To York Island. So we're going to fly out to York Island. It looks like it's a little further. That's nice. I know. My nemesis flaps all right so we're taking off from where did i park somewhere in next to icarus parking 16 i don't know park 4 will do and we're going to fly to york so york is uh yyki york island cool and let's do a low level ifr with a approach is automatic. Okay, well it doesn't really matter where we're going then, is it? Okay. Uh, oh no, I need to do it. No, there's only, there's only a, a direct. Okay, so in that case we'll do um, direct. 28 minute flight. Okay, now we're flying a little bit. Look, almost in uh, Papua New Guinea. I don't think they go that far, but look at all the islands I've got to do for this job. All right. Let's load that back in. You can walk outside on a perfect day, stand and look at the beautiful morning and then blam, hit in the face with some flat. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. All right, I am actually gonna have a quick bio break as well. So we'll get this in and I will, um, Kryptonite. Look, I'll take a 98. It's better than like getting an 89 or something. stuff on top um well if it's going to take this long to load i'll go to do the bio i'll be right back
All right, let's give this a run. Oh yeah, I got my um, head tracking it automatically comes on. Uh, we'll turn that off for now. I will grab the Xbox controller. Right, so that pops up and says, hey, you've connected some device. What am I supposed to do with it? Oh, it's not going to work. Okay. Let's try that. A little bit of a USB swappy swaps. Looks like the Xbox controller is not going to work. Yes, it is. Okay. All right, so we can move around if we need to. Okay, can I have battery on and avionics? So we've got a longer flight. Let's see if we can do better this time. Beacon lights before we start. Fuel is on. Mixtures already up. Yep. I'm gonna run that at minimum to start off with. Okay. Pause that music for hear the engine start up. Nice aircraft behind. I do like flying those. Oh, <clears throat> listen to them feathered. That's because I got my prop pitch all the way down. There we go. Now it's up. Very good. Generator's on, starter off. Uh, batteries on normal. No, fuel pump. Fuel pump's on normal. Oh, I didn't even do it with a fuel pump. Woohoo, okay. Take that, that, and that, that, that. Good to go. <coughs> okay, whoa. Okay, get that uh, head thing moving. So I put my uh, camera on and look up at you guys. And oh, it didn't. Okay, hang on. Let's move this. Hmm. Something's in the way there. No, I don't think it was my. Um, I might just hold that off. For now. <clears throat> there was something. Maybe my glasses case is too close. I don't know. Form but I are. <laughs> it is if I kept that on like that. Yeah, that was it was too much. Oh, the um Bronco. I saw the payware Broncos coming out. Uh, actually looks really good. Why are we having a taxi out here? What runway are we taking off from? I don't think it really matters. We'll turn that off. See you guys. We'll see you again. Vanino, thank you very much for hanging out for the first uh, hour. I'll go on for a couple more. Head to bed. All right. Yeah, daylight saving change, so um, it will be different for you guys. Oh, do you know, can we take off? What's the, what's the windsock look like? we take off on this runway? I think we can. Runway 32? Oh, that'll get me going straight out there. Nice. Lost a few other people. I think they've already taken off and left me. They're like, except Icarus. They're like, I know where we're going. Oh, hang on. We need to do that when we get around. Still on taxi out. Yep, cool. Bronco. Yeah, the new, um, the new OV Bronco. Like that uh, payware one behind me on the tarmac there, so uh, freeware, that's nice um, already. And it's had updates too. Okay, we can swap now. Off, on, on, on. Done. I'm out of here. See you guys. Yeah, we've flown the freeware one. It's awesome, but there's a new payware one that shoots missiles or guns or both. I don't know if it shoots missiles, I think it shoots 
might shoot rockets, um, but it definitely shoots guns. There's a few aircraft that are shooting guns now. Isn't there like a P-47 that's out now, or coming out? Alright, didn't see the flight level here, let's just assume it's 5100 again, for now. AP on, GPS on. Altitude on, but uh, climb. Thousand feet per minute. Thank you. Yep. Yeah, I'm like I'm liking the looks of the Bronco. Um, looks really good. <clears throat> yeah, I do remember we flown the freeware. I like it. But there's the payware is what I'm saying, and I'm, I'm thinking I, I like that too. Um, we do our barrow. See you heard on it, we'll be back. Soon. Now, yeah, where were we with that music? Hopefully that's just in the background for you guys. Um, P2 Nax. That's a generic out of YBCS. What's YBCS? Do you know that one? Alright, we're picking up the uh, flight plan nicely this time. Good. Okay. Uh, don't know if the release date is out yet either. Um, I saw something mid mid April, but I don't know if that's them or not. Tornado's not out yet either, is it? Why are you not flying? Yes, Mr. Conan down at Long Nuts. Want to come do some business runs with me? This one's a little bit better. We've got 80 something nautical miles, 70, 78 to go. Oh, I should see what views I've got with this. None, no, I'll go back there. There we go. Back of the plane. Co-pilot. Yeah, I can't move a few around. They pulled my license. <laughs> I didn't know. off my morning shake without uh, drinking it in front of you there. I'm thinking though I've got back to um, Tasmania, it's cooled down. I might need um, I might need a heater on soon. I may end up also needing a fireplace on. Winter's coming. <laughs> yeah. Hello Icarus mate, nice formation, good to see another Skytrans, there must have been lots of passengers that needed to go on this uh, this route today. And giving me a little uh, wing way back, my guess is in VR today. Alright, quickly need to go and turn my lights off before we hit cruise. Do need to make sure the cruise altitude is correct. 9100. Holy schmoly, we get to go higher. And not a smoke in the uh, inside. Cool. I'm set to PG tonight. <laughs> it's Probably all innuendos here. A 
should change those pilots back to the actual uh, people with their uh, ties on and stuff. It would look better. I'll tell you what, if you jumped in an aircraft and your pilot and co-pilot looked like this, would you be worried or confident? <laughs> Let's be thankful I haven't been to wine tonight. Oh, I've got to watch the end of James' stream. See what was going on. Yep. <laughs> You're terrified they broke out of the home. I don't. Climbing to 9100 Icarus. 9100 today for this flight because it's a little bit longer. 83 nautical mile flight. Cool. <laughs> I was very well behaved. You don't need to watch it. That makes me want to go and see it more. Exactly what's going on. <laughs> yeah, minions are laughing. Was that the two bottle night or just the one box? Wine comes in crates, doesn't it? Oh, my nice. I'm not sure that's what have we gone back disconnected and had it. Stupid bot, I'm gonna have to um I'm gonna have to give that a a refresh, I think. Wow wow woo, why is that very nice? Five gallon box of wine with a tap in it. Yeah, that's it. Five gallon? Five litre. Surely not. Isn't it like a one gallon? Please tell me you're only going to. Yeah, 9100. Okay. Mm, it must throttle back, but. Um... Oh, that's why my mixture's down. Oh. Let's put the mixture all the way up. Still holding a 128 knot climb, that's nice. True airspeed 147. Yeah. This makes better than just a tiny little flight to local island, 17 minutes or whatever it was. Hmm. Um. <laughs> did you have a camera set up? There was someone else in the house that could take pictures, can't they? No, I'll put that camera, talking about cameras, put that back on. Uh, we are slightly over RPM, let's drop that back down. It is five litres, yeah, yeah. I don't drink wine myself. I'm not. I'm not a wine drinker. Um, I'm not much of a drinker at all, to be honest. I like how the pod in this is the same colour as their uh, rear tail as well. Oh. <clears throat> I've got to go and uh, learn how to make liveries and uh, Jason who uh, jumps into my chat often and sent me the name of somebody uh, that I will follow up now that I'm back home so I'm not either, it doesn't take much, yeah okay. Alright, I'm 
Must be 9100. Yes, it is. Okay, very good. How far we got to go? 59 nautical miles. Nice. Well, there's a bunch of islands here. I wonder if we'll see Papua New Guinea from up here. I don't know. More to do your size. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a thimble and what to go. Yeah, okay. We like that. Alright, how's that volume? Because I did make sure it was turned all the way up. I think the flight seems actually quite loud now. Now, what have I got here? I've got uh, this mic volume. It does actually look down on me a lot. <clears throat> and I've also got that uh, bright white light on. I look like I need a tan. Hang on, let me see if I can fix that. It didn't make much difference. I've got automatic white balance on. Maybe I'll turn that off. What does that do? Absolutely nothing. I'm trying to make changes on the fly. Blue. Maybe I just need to get out in the sun more. A thimble is equivalent to a keg. <laughs> Oi! There we go. Nope. Invisible. Ah, because I got proximity thing on. Oh, I lost everybody. What did everybody except uh, I'm guessing here, Chris? Did everybody fly past or did Whoa! What the heck was that? I didn't even move anything. Did we just get some crosswind? One knot? I'm hitting the Xbox controller against the keyboard. Okay. Tried to move it forward and it's pulling the little triggers. There we go. Yeah, I, I, I'm not going to. Uh, I'm not going to go there, Mr. TPHI. You and Thumbelina can do your thing. <laughs> Glad I could uh, lead you to the water. Mm -hmm. You can lead a horse to the water, but you can't make it drink. You can show its head under the water and make it drown. that bot disconnect all the time it's the YouTube connection for the bot yeah hang on it's waking up it's a bit of <laughs> it's a lot of I can do that anytime yes it's a lazy bot Flying a few islands this time. 
Where are we? 44 nautical miles. According to that thing across the top, uh, which would be up in that direction if I'm pointing right. Um, we're about halfway. So that green line that goes across the top, that's letting you know. Come on, say they're great. What's they're great? What is that from? Is that some sort of advertising? <laughs> I laugh so hard every time I hear that. I don't know if I could say it with that type of uh, growl. US cereal Tony the Tiger. Right. Not as in a Scottish way. They're great. No, we don't. We don't have Tony the Tiger. I've seen it on, on TV. Or Frosted Flakes. No, we don't have Frosted Flakes either. But I have seen it on TV, and I've seen it on, on movies and stuff, uh, TV shows, and that's about it, actually. I don't think I've actually seen it on any other people talking about them, but yeah. <laughs> Tommy the Tasmanian Tiger, okay. no. I don't think we've got any cereal with Tasmanian Tiger on it. We did have um, the Rice Bubbles uh, three characters. I, I guess you had it over there too. Um, I don't even it was it Snap, Crackle and Pop or whatever they were. Um, not a lot of animals on advertising on cereal. I don't think we've got any Tasmanian Devils with names on it. What's the Warner Brothers one? What's his name? Doesn't the Tasmanian Devil actually have a name? Look at these reefs. They're not bad. How far have we got to go? 36 nautical miles. Oh, somebody's coming back at me. Be Mrs. TBHI, she's facing this way. So we're gonna fly past Coconut Island. Oh, you reckon it's got any coconuts on it? Oh, yeah, yeah, see, she coming back all right, right at me. Taz, so you didn't actually have a name given to him, okay. Other than Taz. Oh, we've got a VH IO A? That's Coconut Island. I wonder how he got its name. An Airbus, yeah. I, a helicopter, maybe. Not not likely to be a um, a large airline one down there. <laughs> Are you scared of Taz? Oh, Ken the kangaroo? Who's Ken the kangaroo? No, we have Skippy the kangaroo. Thank you. That was a very long uh, running TV show in the 70s. Skippy the kangaroo. Sk Skippy the bush kangaroo. He wasn't just a kangaroo, he was a bush kangaroo, as opposed to I have no idea what. <clears throat> you reckon that uh, that reef's been altered or the island's meant to be in the reef and they got it out <clears throat> out of place like that that line there is meant to be up against here or you reckon they've dredged this out for I don't know what way of bringing ships around here I don't know I know, he couldn't be a regular, because the guy could talk to you, to the little um, character that we'd be, uh, be watching. He'd be like, oh no, 
Jiminy's fell down the mine and there's bad guys with guns? It's like, how the hell do you understand someone who's going... <laughs> well, it wasn't someone, it was a skippy. Um, but he'd come back and uh, bring the park uh, rangers to come and help. It was a 70s thing. We, we had more imagination back those days. 28 nautical miles, 9,000 descent. I don't think we need to uh, descend um, too soon on this one. I like the reefs up here though. It's nice to have done, excuse me, each year, nice to have done a flight up in an area that uh, hardly ever fly. And if I did fly, I'd fly from somewhere in Australia, an airliner, all the way up to, say, Port Moresby, which I think I've done. Although I did fly one time uh, P40 up this way, crashed on one of these islands, trying to get to Papua New Guinea. Oh, yeah, it could have been Skippy the Outback kangaroo, yeah, or Skippy the Sniper kangaroo. Oh, mate, you've seen him in um, Crocodile Dundee. <laughs> yeah, it was a bit of fun. I did watch Skippy though. Admittedly, in the 70s, I was pretty young. What do you think, Mrs. TPHI? Just because you're flying around Australia doesn't mean you have to fly upside down. I wonder. I wonder if it's one of these ones. I think it is. Alright, I might start descending. So let's take that down to about 1500 feet. There we go. Let's go flight level change mode and then I can just use the throttle back to descend. Here we go. When we get below 5,000 I think I'll turn the lights back on. <coughs> she doesn't know she's upside down. That's 20 nautical miles, wow. Doesn't look like it. And wind's coming from 191, so we might go out to the left here and bring it in on, I don't know, what is the runway? York Island, uh, 12 or 30? Um, I guess that would be 30. Yeah. Hey, my teammate. All right, we're, um, we're currently descending down to get into your... Island. I'm guessing this is named after Sky Transport, since they would be taking the mail and supplies and whatnot. If they were daily flights, I'm guessing they would have like potentially fresh milk or products that are needed for whoever lives on the islands. Actually, I have no idea. I've been forgotten. Oh, mighty. You missed Mr. TPHI and he's feeling left out. <coughs> you know that uh, Mrs. TPHI takes over the TPHI part now.
know how long for you. Oh, you reckon we're going to get there to send enough? Oh, we've slowed down to 850. Let's just bring that back even more. Thirteen nautical miles. Huh? We don't need it to send that quick then. But that uh, that does not look thirteen nautical miles. Is that my island that I'm supposed to be going to? Yeah, there's no other in the way. Yep, that's it. Okay. <laughs> We know you're just kidding. Hang on, let's, let's click on here and zoom, thank you. Oh, he automatically wants to go out, alright. Alright, we'll put it down on the uh, low, we on initial approach, yep. We'll put our lights on. Redo the barrows, fine. Uh, zoom this guy back in. We were at 7.5 range. I don't remember from where I had that before. Probably. Let's take a 2.5. Don't need it right now, but can see where we're going. I don't think I can get the eye tracking working at the moment. Try. No. The bubble on? No, I think it's not working. Alright, turn it off. But head tracking? Head tracking is working, yes. Although it's got a microphone in the way at the moment. Turn it off for sitting here. Once I get it all sorted and I sit on my flight seat more, I'll probably use it more. Um, seven nautical miles out, I can probably not descend quite as quick. Let's just bring this back below a thousand feet per minute descend. There we go. We still got a tailwind. Actually, it's changed to the other side. So it's going to be a crosswind, whichever way we go, by the looks of it. Can't see the runway. Wait, is that the runway there? No, serious. My runway is not showing up. Okay. the other way yeah I thought so okay we're gonna have a crosswind almost no matter which way we go I still think I'll go out to the left so uh, I'm gonna put in heading control let's actually do a little bit of a turn Take that all the way around to zero two eight. All right, fifteen hundred. Slow it down. You kind of see the runway there now. We're actually going to have to go out a little further, so. that off. It's all the way up and actually run that down a fraction. What's that looking at? I think it's below me. Okay. Now 
landings on. Music hold. Prop pitch down to a land. Well, not to a land at all. We're um, on a final. Maybe the flaps need to come up under a certain speed. Oh, this is coming in shallow. Whoa. That happened pretty quick. Flaps up under the R. There we go. We'll try that. All right, let's turn on all oh, don't stop completely. Nice. Hey, Shane McKinley's here in a 207. I don't have a 207. Whoop, whoop, he's bounced. Okay, and he's skidding to a stop. <laughs> 207, 207. Um, is that like this only really much longer? Or is it like the um, country one? Oh wait, don't we have a 207B? I'd be able to see the lights on uh, everything from space. What? Break on taxi lights have to go off before we turn fuel off. There we go. Remember to submit your flight plan. Do I really want to? Is it going to be another 98 or less? No way. Okay. You can't pitch more than 15 degrees. I thought it was 30. I pitched on approach more than 15 degrees and I fired and lost two points. Still got my flaps wrong, so it's not... I do, mate. That's a given. Alright, 96. Wow. Okay. We're going to fly back. Um, I'm going to test just uh, setting it up in here again since we're doing a direct anyway all right turn all of that off uh, that's all reset so let's put the battery back on something to fill the sound in More than 15 degree descent, I don't know. Um, my new setup took hours and hours of messing around to get it bound and everything uh, plugged in. Oh yes, everything has to be turned on a specific order. Um, where's my full screen cam? There we go. This is what I bought in Melbourne. Um, well, it's a bit bright. How do I get the reflection off it? Uh, 
Oh, I've got green face cam. I've got must have a um, chroma key on that. That's annoying. Um, those dials on the side allow you to turn things like volume and or if you have um, uh, the flight simulator control on there because you can actually do the flight simulator control and I can punch in ID numbers and stuff although I don't have it the profile on at the moment I wonder if I could do that Ooh, that'd be good um, yeah so if I were to remove okay and set a destination to Y hid enter and the remove uh, set origin oh right so she does that okay so Y K K I I think that's the way we're supposed to be yeah Y K K I Y Y K I To Y hit, enter, easy. We'll just do a turn around like that. I'll get your comments in a second, guys. Um, Left it on normal, that's fine. You're actually coming up. Okay, I can start you. I can probably actually put you on already. Um, get me what says that cool? Yeah, um, so I can actually have flights in and I can punch in all my numbers. Um, I haven't got the profile loaded in the moment, and it's also a dynamic um, profile. So if I click off the flight sim, it turns back to a desktop um, profile. But if I click back on flight sim, it turns back on. I've turned off the dynamic part for now. Quite for a second, uh, music. I want to hear everything starting up. Yep. I think we're good. I can turn it down. Um, at the moment, software is uh, not keeping up with the update. So the latest update um, broke the individual volume sounds so I can change volumes like I can change my volume on the fly so I go down really low or really high and down low <clears throat> so I just uh, 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 at one level and I can actually up and down that same with my volume for you guys but unfortunately I, and then also my whole system so I can turn my whole system up and down but unfortunately, it doesn't uh, doesn't seem to want to um, allow me uh, and Discord and that type of stuff. But a link in the software is broken, so that I can't activate all of the system sounds at the moment. So, a bit of a shame. Hey, Aaron, mate, I just saw you pop in. Hey, Reeves, hey, bro. How's it uh, like being back? Enjoying my flight sim. Enjoying my flight sim. All right, we'll take that one on as well. And we don't need the starter on the whole time, so it can go off. Um, we're on normal. Yes, yes, yes. I think we're good. All right, got our flight plan in for return. Um, yeah, how's being back at work? I'll tell you what, though. It's a lot colder here than it was at your place. All right, I guess we're taking off down that end. Taxis are on. Okay, full U-turn please. It looks like my bot's awake still. Taxi out is on. Yep, cool. So uh, we're heading YK, uh, YYKI, York Island, back to Horn Island. And then we have one more flight. So we're doing three three return flights in uh, today's stream. 
Now we're doing two hours. Oh, you know, that's actually going to work out quite well, time-wise. I actually don't know how long the final flight is. See if I can tuck in behind you guys. I like how Icarus has got the same livery. A couple of uh, Skytrans aircraft. I'll actually tuck in behind here. So I still haven't worked out how to get the flaps um, working for the landing uh, to get 100 points. Maybe it's um, further along, I don't know. All right, uh, when you're ready, Icarus, and who was else was Kengar, was it? When you guys are ready. Oh, his livery's changed, I know just see through when you're ready Flight level uh, 9100 again, according to uh, Simbit World. Only one K, okay, 1500 feet per minute climb. Yeah, I can handle that. Are we on full? Yeah, we are. Maybe just take that off because we're redlining it. GPS line are we? I think so. Alright, hands off. Planes, planes picked it up. Alright, very nice. Please tell me I turned off taxi. I did. <laughs> You're like, no! Trying to get... Okay, we'll, we'll, one, one day we'll learn how to do the flaps and we'll get them at the right moment. It's not on landing. It's not down the runway uh, once I get it below the rotate marker it's not when you get off the runway it's not when you get to the gate so yeah your distance for the south pole is almost exactly the same kilometers uh, from us to the north pole yeah um, I'm on the 42nd or thereabouts parallel um, I don't know what uh, south that is so I don't know what you are north, but that would give you a bit of a, uh, a measurement that would um, make it easy to understand. 40, 41 point something, almost 42. A lot of uh, Tasmania is 42, or in the 42nd parallel. That's why, I don't, not, not um, the guys that do parallel 42 stuff, I'm guessing they're north, but there's a lot of shops down here that have something to do with 42nd parallel. Let's just add extra useless information. <laughs> have a look. Ah, two L's. One L, okay. South. Uh, 
the 40 second north one uh, is something to do with the uh, Spanish Empire agreement in 1819, the Adams-Onus Treaty. Forty-one point six four zero zero seven nine. Yeah, where? Tasmania's big. Yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> damn those Spaniards. <laughs> <coughs> oh man, got a cough. I need to drink more water. All right, where are we? We're not climbing. Why are we not climbing? You're not going to do that, so let's vertical speed it. Can I have the button? Thank you. Fine, I'll take a 1200 feet per minute climb since we're a little bit late on that. Uh, it's cold this week in Melbourne, bro, and wet all Yeah, it's cold here too. I've got a blanket on over my, uh, my legs at the moment. I still got shorts on, though. But I do have a hoodie on. And it's probably raining as well. Sprinkling. It's been sprinkling, I think. Every single triple play in baseball has something to do with uh, no outs. Also, every single eclipse has, uh, has happened during a new moon. Something to do with location, I would say. Did you know that I am slightly further north? than you are, says Gowan, and he's in the US, wow, Ref NASA was on our news tonight, squashed the myth going around that this is a once in a lifetime eclipse, they said there will be a full total eclipse every 18 months, yeah but not in the same location, and it'll be the first, or the only total eclipse for 2024 at that location, on that day. <laughs> you guys made me fall asleep. Oh no. Can't have that. When is this uh, total eclipse? Is it today? Tomorrow? Like, apparently we can see it in Australia as well. I thought it was going mostly over the, the, the US. Yeah, yeah, well that makes sense. Now tomorrow, Monday, there you go. So it'll be the, the only total eclipse tomorrow. Once in a lifetime. <laughs> 8th of April. 2024, there'll be no other 8th of April 2024 eclipses in that place. Aaron's flying with us. Hey Aaron mate. Alright, I want my lights off by 5,000. Only because if you don't turn them off, even though we're not going over 10, if you don't turn them off, you fail. This sucks. I know. Let's push this a little harder to not drop speed while we do a 1200 feet per minute climb. Uh, why have I got you on still? I do not know. Alright. Top provoking me. Mm -hmm. There's Coconut Island again. We should take the drone down there and see if there's any coconuts. That would make sense. Which one's the drone again? This one. All right. 
go and go slow. Okay, let's try... Try and go fast. That ought to be fast enough. Woohee! Coconuts! Uh, wouldn't be nice if there's a whole bunch of uh, palm trees. But I don't hold my breath. For it. Oh, they got some. Good on ya. Microsoft Flight Sim. We got one, two, three, four, five, maybe half a dozen. And maybe they'll have actual coconuts. I don't think so. Oh, oh. Pick the coconuts and sell them for dinks. <laughs> Alright, let's get that back. Far back as I can go, yeah, I think it is. For those who are just jumping and going, what does he mean, Dinks? Um, it's another game I play. Oh, you know, operative air yeah, vent, that sucks. They sell for good money, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, so that's called Coconut Island. Yeah. I think that's Coconut Island, otherwise I'm making it all up. There we go. Yep, Coconut Island. Queensland. Nice. Alright, we're over revving just a little. Let's bring that back. Can probably also drop that... Uh, Climb. We're almost at, at altitude now, anyway. Take that to 500 feet per minute. Climb. Yep, 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 yep. Actually, much easier just doing the turnaround. I think I'll do the same again because we've we've got one more flight. Let's have a look at my um. Where's my information? Here we go. We're going uh, back from herd to YYSI. I don't remember what YYSI is. Uh, and then back again. So three round trips from herd island. In our Skytrans uh, company flight. Uh, you can say stay on Coconut Island. Yes, you can stay on Coconut Island. Yes. How do you think we've got Coconut Island, I wonder? Coconut, I guess. I'm sure it's fine there. It, that reef, I don't think, is right in Microsoft Flight Center. You know what? Let's have a look online. Let's have a quick look on the maps. And welcome the 26 people. Uh, 23 people. We lost three. That's people who don't like coconuts. Coconut on this one. Man, I can't even find it. <clears throat> Coconut on. Oh wow, it's way out there. <clears throat> Karuma coconut. Okay. Let's get this on uh, map. Yeah, I'd say that that, uh, that satellite picture pushed the reef out. But um, this is what we're looking at. There's a store and a few streets and... Makes you wonder... Do they have cars or do they just walk? Like, or golf carts? Like, I guess you got boats to put in. 
it doesn't really look like there's much of a boat ramp place so I guess it, you have one of those um, you have one of those uh, drive up the beach type uh, loading and, and unloading hey Donna hey Brett coconut equals lamingtons and therefore yummy <laughs> oh no I know they do yeah it was named by people who ran out of interesting names. Long Island, Green Island, Coconut Island. Well, it might be the only one that had coconuts on it. Aaron says, been saving up to get the Bruna Force Feedback Flight Yoke and have been flying for three weeks with it. Great. Nice. It's nice to actually get a, a, a new um, peripheral and uh, start using Like when I got my new steering wheel after 15 or 17 years, however long I'd had the old one, um, I think it was 15, and I got the new one, I'm like, oh my God, I had more than just two buttons on it. I had 23 buttons or something. It's awesome. Keep that open so I can see it. It has. It's a bit of. Oh. <laughs> it's a bit of. Oh. I can't even do it properly. Oh. There we go. Coconut Island is exclusively accessible by foot. There you go. Except those people who got the boat on a trailer on that Google map, uh, Google satellite picture. I'm guessing they've got something to get it in, maybe a tractor or something. I claim Dove Islet in the name of Long Nut. There'll be people going there looking for these nuts that are supposed to be long and not understand where they are. Oh, hang on. I didn't do the uh, change, did I? All right, hang on, let's change it. That green line's going backwards. <clears throat> there we go. Now we'll go the other way. I've been pretty good, thanks, Aaron, mate. Been pretty good. Um, <clears throat> woke up with a bit of a headache, though. The, the weather has totally changed, and I think it's more humid in Melbourne. And when I got here, it's drier, and my sinuses dried up. And, and that and the flying, and... Um, yeah, I probably also got an extra hour of sleep that I'm not used to. Maybe even two, because I slept in for another hour. Um... That was yesterday, and then today, yeah, today I had the headache. But uh, I think it's just sinuses, because once I was able to clear my my uh, stuff, yeah. I had a headache for three days. It might just be the weather's changed. Just need to clear the nasal passages. Actually, I might do that now. Excuse me a moment. Kicking the USB cable below me. Gotta buy a bunch more. Alright, we're in cruise. Yes, we are. I've got my lights set. Good. Still haven't worked out what to do with flaps. Nope. I uh, can actually drop that back so that we're in optimal fuel. So, what I'm doing is I'm moving. Moving this little white triangle 
to be as much as hang on, right, as much as possible with my throttle in the middle of that blue line there, which is probably about. 1680 RPM, is it? Close. Yep, 1681. Alright, I'll take that. <clears throat> 1884 prop RPM though. Fuel. Fuel seems to be good. We are doing the uh, return flight, so we didn't fill up. Um, let's have a quick look at fuel. 30%. Yep, we're good. And we've got 35, 32 nautical miles. 32.3, yeah, there we go. No problem. Should I tell you that I moved up in the job uh, tech installing the fibre to home instead of uh, bearing it? Now I don't have to dig anymore. Nice. Yes. No, you didn't. You didn't. Um, but that's pretty good. My bot's fired. Yeah, all right. I need to find a new bot. back to the comments there. Yeah, I do need to find a bot that works. Hey, Vruden, mate, we're on our fourth flight, but second return flight for Skytrans Australia as part of... I'm getting buzzed. Uh, as part of um, Simbit World, a pilot's life to... Uh, company flight, contract, yeah, so this is my first uh, flight with them today, and we're still not getting 100% because I can't seem to get the flaps right on landing, just fail to always get it correct, no matter where I put the flaps up, it always says wrong, apparently on commercial flights it's really easy, but on the, um, on the GA? No. Nah. A VHLX8. How is it? LHX flight. I wonder if that's another Skytrans. Let's go and have a look. Oh, I'm going to have to make that go faster. Let's go and see. Thanks. Can I have that up here? There we go, thank you. From Horn, okay, it's a Y head. Let's see if it's a Cessna and Skytrans. Because that should be, no, it's not. Yeah, I don't think you've flown out of Horn. That's A and A. At 4,000 feet, yeah, I don't think so. So, my aircraft's got that. Um, Sim got that wrong. I've been MIA on other flights lately. I'll be back around soon. I did notice you on um, Tim Fanatics uh, and you were mucking around with uh, your notebook or laptop and VR, trying to get that working. So, you know, I've read your comments there. Welcome back, Avrudin. I've been away for two weeks, so I haven't done any flights. I did uh, Dinkum game play, but no flights. You drop in for like five minutes. Yeah, no, that's fair enough. I see people come and go, both on my stream or others. It happens. Also, it depends on when you're actually doing stuff. Uh, and what else you're doing? The clouds are starting to build. We had none before. Okay. Weather's changing. Still only got a two knot wind. You'll be flying again soon. Yep. Okay. Used to seeing Vruden in a F 14. I don't know. Do you fly other stuff, Vruden? Do you fly like. Cessna 1, uh, was it 208? Like what we were flying? Did we see you in a grand caravan? We 
wish the rain would go away. Depends on the speed. Um, less than 200 knots for this thing. What are we doing? 168 ground speed. No, true airspeed. 168. Nineteen nautical miles back to herd. That would be it on the screen there. We will do a have a crosswind by the looks of it. We'll do a descend and around again. I might get below this cloud though. And this time I've got to make sure I don't do more than fifteen degree uh, angle. Take it down to five. Let's go vertical speed, please. Down. So 17 nautical miles. I'll take it about a thousand for now. Get it to down to five. Back that off even more. Um, <clears throat> back to uh, Gowan's off, mate. Might try uh, and live stream some of the eclipse, depending on how busy I am and get watching it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's cool. I'd, I'd be up for watching that. Um, Vruden loves helicopters. Yeah, I've seen Vruden fly the 135 as well. Um, below 160, I fly the H135. I use the F14B to chase airliners. Yeah, yeah. I understand that. I heard someone's door was shut outside, but it maybe not. Uh, what are we on? A uh, three degree decline, that's fine. Uh, 14 nautical miles, I'm going to crank this a little more. Try 1500, that should give me about five degrees down. Slow that down as well. So, how far away is the eclipse? Is that not like? Isn't that like tomorrow for you guys? Didn't you say before it's actually tomorrow Monday? What day is it here? Is Monday here? Yeah. Sixteen hours, okay, cool. Hmm, these clouds are I'd say they're probably below five thousand. We might actually descend keep keep descending it. Try fifteen hundred. Ten nautical miles, let's put uh, landing lights on. I might have been a little bit too slow. Initial approach is on. Okay, good. My last flight is to oh, Saibai. S A I B A I. I don't know. Saibai. Uh, I think is how you pronounce it. When you start overthinking it, I get nervous. Yeah, I'm like, I'll get down to five, I'll be just below the plane. No, I won't. But uh, just make adjustments on the on the fly, it's fine. At least I'm not running out of fuel. <laughs> like I often do. Let's pause that music. Crank that up so I can hear everything. How are we doing for Sim? Sim's loud. Okay, PC full volume, yep.
<laughs> Me? No way. I haven't run out of fuel. I haven't run out of fuel for weeks. What are you talking about? <laughs> All right, what runway are we going to go in? I think we're going direct. Can I have that off? Why did you go back on? Landing lights are on. Okay, keep my descent. I can't see past those clouds, but I think there's a runway in there where Kangar's going. And that'll give me a full on headwind, which is good. Let's just work on that trim, thank you. Reset. Wait, isn't there the runway there? Didn't they have a cross the runway? Same one I took off on when I left here? I think so. Yep, we do. Very good. So Kangor's gone from mist, mist approach. Pitch all the way down for now. We are still a little too high. Did need to bring it in sooner. I may have to go around. There's my 1500. Don't think the islands are populated in with trees or anything at the moment. Pitch mix up, thank you. Short runway. All right, we'll use our reverses if we have to. Five hundred. Five hundred, thank you. Oh, now we've got a seven knot tailwind. It changed since I got here. Are you kidding? This is not the runway I took off on. Flaps up on the red line. Let's see if that helps. Other than that, I have not worked out what I'm supposed to do. Surprised that we actually wind changed from a two knot headwind to a seven knot tailwind just as we got there. That kind of sucks. Okay, now I can type. The only reason why I haven't ran out of uh, fuel in a couple of weeks is because you haven't flown. I know that. Don't let truth get in, uh, facts get in the way of a, uh, a good story. Alright, let's get out of the way of Aaron. Very nice, Aaron. Very nice, mate. Uh, yeah, what's the final one? I think that's correct. Say, sail bow. Sorry, put my kids to sleep. Um, you missed a perfect landing. 
actually a little bit a little bit of a uh, right wheel up in the air when I popped in there because I um, ended up getting a bit of a tailwind instead blue skies pilots I'm out I'll give it a six I'll take a six any day There seems to be a bus park in the spot that I went last time. Maybe I'll take the first one here. Okay, we can strobe off. Now that we're off the runway, there's an F-16 over there now, and a 22. Man, they park everything here. I might top up with some fuel. I don't know the next uh, trip how far it is. That'll do. Okay, taxi off. All right. Remember to submit your flight. Flight report. I failed. And four points because of... Okay, we need to reset in between each one. Because my flaps didn't go up at the right time on takeoff. But I did a turnaround, so it counted my flaps still from the previous flight. That sucks. Okay, well, I'm going to go out and come back in. Because I got four points minus for that, and I still didn't get my flaps right on landing. I, I, I don't know. But I got 94 points out of that because my flaps up, I didn't even use flaps on takeoff, but because I did a turnaround, it still counted it. Okay. Well, what, what, what can you do, hey? We'll submit that. Done, submitted. Okay, so we definitely have to go out and back in. Otherwise it'll count everything from the previous one. So it'll go, oh, your flaps didn't go up. Um, this one looks like a much longer flight. Oh, nice. All right. I mean, that'll take us to uh, probably a little bit longer flight today. All right. I'm going to do it. There and back. To see how far it is. Flight level 7100. Well, that's not very far, is it? Man, this is like right on the border of uh, Papua New Guinea mainland. Mighty's going. <clears throat> no, no. What do you miss? Oh, no. Vruden's going. Yes. All right, so we've got another one from here. Where did I just park? Somewhere there, I think. Whoops, missed it. And we are going to... You did say it was YSS... Oh, YSII. YSII. Still don't know how to pronounce it, but look at that. That's a, oh, it's only 77 nautical miles. Didn't we go 80 or something before? We went out here somewhere. All right, um, let's go real time. Thank you, and fly. All right. That plane uh, really creaks, it does, it does. Um, especially when you put your foot on the brake, it full on the whole thing creaks and the suspension moves and yeah, you get the noises. But that's actually probably not too bad because if it was all silent and you'd be like, eh, it doesn't seem real. I'm going to make sure I have some water. Thank you very much for those 24 likes, people. HNDs. Ryanair? Yeah, no, I don't think so. Ryanair is not likely to be here. All right, we've got our uh, head tracking on and off. Okay, battery on, avionics, fuel, beacon, fuel pump to normal, should be able to start that, thank you. Clear prop, oh, I've still got these guys flying, forgot about that. Oh, 
we feathered, are we? There we go. Nice. Nav's on two, please. Second, Avionics. Okay, you're up, and we don't need the starter on. Thank you. Put the generator on there. It's on normal or generator? Let's put a generator on. Alright, we'll take a taxi light. Now, I think you're not supposed to put the strobes on until you get out on the runway. I can't remember if I lost points on the GA for that or not. But I'm actually going to get a move on. We've got our passengers already. Let's redo the barrow. You know, if you hold onto the caravan prop, it will not rotate on startup. Wow. No, I didn't know that. Who found that out? Are you going bus or are you going to let me go? Oh, you're going to go. Watch out my wing. is the wind coming? We have no wind data. Um, I don't know what that uh, Ryan airplane is doing there, but uh, other than getting in the way, so let's go strobe. I'm just going to take it right here. Crosswind, that's fine. You can see the flag now. A little bit of left rudder. I'm going to take the GPS. What did we say it was 7100? So keep that going up, please. Okay. I'm going to hold that one there. Thank you. There we go. And now some your dad now. All right, cool. Now I can actually take my hand off that control, doing it with the left hand there. Um, mechanic shoot showed me on the uh, company plane. Nice. In the description it says uh, YSSY to Ah, uh, that's the last flight. Doesn't it? Update that. We are over revving this on the climb. Um, we're on flight five. It does. It says Y Y S I. That's wrong. Okay. Y S I I. I typed it wrong. But thank you. Updated. <clears throat> yep, you're correct. The description was incorrect. Um, Flight 5 had YY. Yes, I was actually incorrect. Um, person who found that out uh, is the one armed man who doesn't want to admit he was wrong. <laughs> Maybe he didn't have the fuel on. Yeah, don't know. It might have a um, auto brake on it or something. So we're starting in Wyhid. We're on flight five. That was the right, wasn't it? Yeah, flight five and six is what we're doing now. 
I hit so horn again. So we're based out of horn today. Let's see if I can put this in the uh, chat. Oh, it doesn't give a gap. Oh, that sucks. But yeah, so uh, Y hit to Y S I I and then Y S I I back to Y hit and then we'll be done. And then what we'll do is I'll run another contract before we end the stream and see if we can get a long flight um, potentially for next week. All right, what do we got? Zero knot. I don't know why it's got a direction. Zero knots. If it's zero knots, it's zero knots. There's no direction. Oh, I've got an itchy nose now. But in your VL3, I'm sure you'll be able to keep up no problem. We've got some bigger islands here. We didn't get to fly to any of these. I'm guessing... Maybe they have, um, the large islands have more shipping, but the little islands don't have the uh, ability for, look at that, we are going way up there. You'd think this place would have room for it. How's the flight sim uh, that you build coming along? You mean the, um, the seat? Are you talking about the, the sim rig? I'm not actually running it at the moment. Um, <clears throat> the biggest deal I'm having at the moment is USBs. Um, but I have got another solution while I was in Melbourne. So I've got a USB-C to a uh, USB, can't remember the name of it now, uh, the standard stuff, um, USB 3.0. Port. So I, my USB-C, I think is a 3.2. It's in the back of my computer now to a little hub. It has four ports. Um, why did I go 4,400? Oh, because I never got up to 7,100. All right. 71. Uh, I have too many USBs is the, the big deal here at the moment. Other way. Go to 1,000, thank you. Um, so I'm, I'm trying to, USB-A, that's it, USB-A. Um, but but the USB-3, and so I'm trying to run everything. So when I've got different devices, uh, at the moment not everything's on. So my yoke and my throttle is not on at the moment. Neither are the touch panels. I've also, so I probably will make a run this afternoon, maybe later this week. I haven't decided because we're we're planning on going um, to another town to buy some stuff later in the week. But I'll I'll make a run for USB cables so that I can uh, run and control everything. The noise behind me it must must be windy out there. Oh yeah, I can see the trees moving on my CCTV. Um, so, I want to get all the stuff set up. I've also bought a label maker um, tape, I guess they call them. Like, I've already got a label maker, but I found one that prints white on clear, which means I can then relabel the Honeycomb Bravo uh, controls that don't have uh, anything on them. I can relabel them and repurpose them because I've already got two panels that do um, uh, nav lights and stuff like that. So it strobes. So I wonder if I've got a picture for you. Let's see if I've got something. Um, One of these would probably give you a bit of an idea. Let's have a look. All right, so this is this is a picture I took recently of my setup. 
Um, it's going to change uh, quite considerably, actually. Um, this this uh, stream deck's not going to go there, but I've actually got a screen. Let's see if I can get that for you now. I bought this stand last night. It's a tablet stand. So, the tablet can come off. It's got a little ring on the back and that's a magnetic thing. That allows it to sit as my cockpit, um, race cockpit thing, or I'm gonna put it in here so um, I actually have a full touch screen and I can use a, um, I can actually set it up right now. It'll actually come up as one of these screens. Um, but I'm going to put it on my sim as a, um, actually I won't do that now, it's going to fall off. Um, look at this back. Going to use that one as a race race sim uh, screen as well because they both work. But the uh, clear labels, um, if you look down, oh, I can't even see them behind here. These all these switches behind here, they have no label on them. Like these have a label on them, but these are blank. Uh, but I've already got uh, what master battery. Oh, this is hard to see. The resolution is not good. But avionics, fuel pump, um, pito, all the rest is already on here. So there's, there's repeated stuff on these panels, as there is down here, but these ones down behind the throttle there, I don't think I've got another picture that shows it better. Um, no, they're, they're all showing the same. Uh, I don't think I... No, okay, they didn't pull it down. But, um... So, I'll, I'll, I'll print the label with the white uh, it'll be white print with no background, so that's awesome. Um, the labels come in handy, that's what I did with my Bravo. Yeah, yeah. If you're not uh, for VR, I would do something like that. I have VR. I don't stream with VR. Um, I like it for the experience. If I was going to do any streaming of VR, I think I may just leave it as motor racing. Because motor racing is a lot... Um, a lot more stable and easy to uh, look into the turning or the mirrors and for somebody who's watching somebody I've, I've watched flying VR and it does get a little bit uh, too much movement I think Gammy Wombat has been telling me something about a stabilization uh, software he uses which is pretty cool I may consider getting something like that and, and giving it a test but I've got three 50 inch screens here and I'm, I'm working on potentially changing the middle one out to something new in the future but I'm not going to release information on that until I actually can afford it <laughs> because I'm going to have to save up money for that actually or sell sell my Harley Davidson for it but anyway I digress so having the three screens though um, I can run full like if you saw my Toby eye tracker thing uh, video that I made so I can just uh, turn my head and when I've got the three screens on I can see out both sides at the moment I'm, I'm watching you guys on tracking um, it's probably not going to get everything because I've got this microphone in the way in the box how's that I almost need to reset it Let's see if we can do that it's a little sideways why is it going sideways is my glasses sideways Yeah. Wait, am I the only one up here? I can't see anybody else. I think I am. But moving your head around a lot. Yeah, I have my glasses on because I'm reading the fine print right in front of me. Um, and the text. Look, I can I can read it, but sometimes uh, some of them are a bit blurry. 
But the the uh, eye tracking thing actually works with glasses, so that's right. Right beside me. Oh yeah, you are too. So close that no name tag actually shows up. Can go below me. Well, I wasn't going to see that, was I? That's cool. Weather's pretty clear. Alright, what I might do, I might bring this in just a little closer. And I might have a quick uh, bio break again. I've been uh, having my my shake and drinking my water. I might just go and have a quick bio. Uh, let me just check. Yeah, 39 nautical miles. Now's the time to do it. No, nope, not that one. That one. There we go. I'll be right back. Loving the setup I have, thank you very much. I'm uh, I'm working on it. I'll eventually have cameras behind as well, so you will be able to see stuff. Um, Thirty-three nautical miles. Is that it there? I think so. And there's the mainland of uh, Papua New Guinea. Okay. I don't think we need to descend just yet. So yeah, I'll eventually get some cameras behind. Because um, at the moment I'm using, I'm sitting at my desk. My desk actually does fold up against the um, the wall just by uh, clipping it down. But I've got to mount my USB, um, seven port USB hubs somewhere because they're sitting on the desk. So I've got to actually mount them. I also, let's see if I can get this. I've been doing some modifications with the, uh, the side mounts that come with the, um, the, the flight sim rig and I've added extra extension um, bolts because I'm a big guy and having these things right next to my legs was very uncomfortable because it's a really solid metal. So what I did was I put in these extra uh, bolt parts, but I did find that it does want to drag down on it. Even though there's, there's mounts there and there, I almost need another flush mount there. So I almost need a block so that it can lean against that. But this, this actually allows it to go further out. You need uh, to build a USB hub to hold all your USB hubs. Do you mean like that one over in the background? Oh, hang on, you can't see it. Um, how am I going to do that? Uh, no, I'm not going to turn it. All right, I have a a four board power board over there 
on top of it is stuck a seven port hub that I use for my PC and underneath it is another seven port hub that I use for all my power so it is not connected to the PC and they all have individual switches and the only one that's on at the moment over that side is the throttle control so my my uh, this one here HOTAS throttle control but what's also plugged in over there is the steering wheel and the um, actually what is it uh, pedals I think and I think I kick, kick on this USB that's on the floor uh, is my truck shifter which doesn't like going in the hub so some things work in a hub and some things don't I also need a hub that has um, less splitter hub more own controllers on it so these are all powered hubs um, so I've got a seven port there and another seven port over there for the PC but they're not all on at the same time and then another seven port which looks the same but not connected to the PC just power for running things like tablet charging and uh, currently my headphones are being charged by it and uh, just USB cables for plugging in tablet devices or phones and stuff so yeah I got a lot of a lot of stuff running I got a lot of different type of things that I can add to it so it all adds up but yes I do need a USB hub to hold all my USB hubs kind of problem is when they share devices um, They share the bandwidth as well, so when you... Things like my um, stream deck doesn't like going in a hub. My microphone doesn't like going in a hub. Um, I tried putting a 7 port internal hub in my PC, but because my new motherboard didn't like the drivers on that particular hub, it conflicted, so I've taken it back out. But I do have that USB-C to 4 port now. And that's what the microphone's running on. So, yeah, it's kind of... You're going to get all of the different things working together. Alright, we're going to descend here. 1,000 feet a minute. About 20 nautical miles. Nice to have some shipping out here. Cargo ship. Actually, it's the only one around. <coughs> Alright, let's have a look at the airport up here. What have we got? Bitumen, 12 and 30. Wind's coming from 257. Well, it is up here, but it's only one knot, so we can pretty much choose whichever one we want. We want. So we might actually uh, just take it straight in from here and in. Yep. How's the cable management? Um, did I do a video on my man cave rebuild? Uh, at the moment, I've got a whole bunch of USBs dangling uh, for the microphone and for the... I, I bought a new um, Razer Loop Deck Stream Deck thing in your... last week. Um, and the, the other Stream Deck. So I have both. Um, which basically allows me to do things like... Uh, just, you know, quick mute and stuff, and I can also turn it down so it's a lot lower. Um, and eventually I'll be able to do all my music stuff with the little dials. So, those ones are, are there, but all the rest of them are on the wall on um, multiple lines running through, like all the power stuff. Um, I bought mostly black cables and that's what I need to go and do the run for the USB cables because I need longer black ones um, but they're all piped along the wall 
out of the back of a computer they all go to like a um, so I think it's got four or five lines to run all the cables through and then it runs out um, to different monitors and because not only that I've got to run my or what was running the second computer um, but now I use the laptop for a monitor above to, to read and watch you guys so I need those lights on thank you so yeah it becomes a bit of a mess oh, Mr. TPHI is already over land I can see yeah I think she's making an approach to so, uh, land first so that we can't see her land. That's what I reckon. That's what I'm saying anyway. I'm sticking to it. Alright, let's take uh, heading and we'll take it at uh, 040. Shouldn't allow me a, uh, enough turn there to. Um, you know what? Let's take a 030. Yep. And then we should be able to bring it in uh, over here and then down. Alright. Flight stage is initial approach. Yes, it is. So my USB cable is not so good. Um, but my race chair, so I actually have two cockpits <laughs> beside me. I have a race cockpit and I have a uh, flight cockpit and I'm just sitting in a um, office chair at my tiny little desk so I actually minimize my desk to make it smaller but it can actually by pressing the uh, both sides have a quick release which allows it to fold down against the wall just got to take everything off um, the USBs on that side have control of the fly, um, race seat except that throttle and on this side has well actually most of them are disconnected at the moment but normally I would have them in the one on this side plan is to get another one and I need to have switches from because I don't want everything on at the same time um, so it's a, it's a lot of cables it's a lot of cables I can't even see the runway is that it there? it's got to be What was that music? Just making our way to 1500 now. Is that a tiny runway? Okay, we might be. Where are we? Zero knots, but it does say winds that way. Okay. take off the autopilot thank you I have the controls Gee, that's much easier to turn it with that yeah there we go or I can turn this back on and go like this I think that uh, microphone's in the way at the moment yeah I can turn that off microphone's in the way Oh, is that the grass strip there? Oh, I see it. Okay. Yep, there it is there. Oh, and now we've got a one knot tailwind. Can't win, can I? One knot's next to nothing, though. I'm off need to get up early for work. Nice talking to you. Aaron, mate, you have a good night. Thank you very much for hanging out and uh, sleep well. And I will catch you in another one.
I'll try flaps up just as I touch down. Can't seem to win with anything else. It must be Simbit World's uh, GA flap level seems to be a little bit um, different to commercial. Because commercial you can be rolling down the uh, runway, you, you lift your flaps up and then you, you head off the runway and you get 100%. Not so much here. Somehow I know I'll fail that because I've tried it already. Oh, let's. No, I missed that turn. Go around the van anyway. You fuel things in the way. Where am I supposed to go? Yeah, but the fuel things in the way. I'm not going over there, you've got a few things in the way. My wheel's going to get caught. Stop. Alright. Taxi. Strobe. Almost dread looking every time. It's like I can't get it. My landing was a 65 feet per minute. Nice. I waited for you, but it took too long. I know. I come in too too slow. Ah, flaps up again. 98 percent. If someone can work out what it is, please let me know. That is so many 98 percents. I fail. Here we go. I fail. Flaps up on taxi in. Are they supposed to go up? Oh, shush. Are they supposed to go up? When I turn off the runway? Or do I turn, put them up after I put the taxi lights on? That's something I'll try next time. As soon as I turn the taxi lights on, put the flaps up. I wish I had my other controls here. All right, look, submit flight. I think you're going to reset this because otherwise it'll complain. There it is there. Yep, thank you. Because I didn't reset the last flight and I took off again. It went, you didn't put your flaps up the right moment. I didn't use my flaps to take off. But yeah. All right, last flight of the day. How are we going? Wow, we're over the three hour mark already. Okay, there's Mrs. T-P-H-I and Kanga. All right, I guess we just, uh, I don't know where I parked. I think I parked way over in the corner. That'll do. Live. And we're going to, back to Wyherd, isn't it? Wyhid? Back to Horn Island. There we go. Very good, you're already off. You're all the way up. Good, good, good. that one in there and go okay so it should actually update up above good a minus 65 is very nice flight you you're doing very well mrs tphi doing very well Now looking back at uh, Aaron's how's your cable management thinking I'm thinking man I need to redo some of these because yeah mm. 
No, I don't want to hear that music. Move on. Kango says, I must go now. Thanks for today's stream and allocations. Yeah, this is all new stuff for me. I've never flown here before. Um, I'm actually quite happy with it. Well, that music went quiet, didn't it? Oh, it's that music. I know this one. All right. Oh, that, that, that put me off for a moment there. My, um... Wait, am I on the fuel bowser? No. Oh, it actually disappeared. Okay. This is my, uh progression music it just it just keeps going like this i might end up changing it put the navs on as well let's go fuel pump start clear prop Thank you. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's what I didn't want to do. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Oh my God, they're going to lose points. In the wrong place for a fuel bowser. Pre-flight stage, done on taxi out. Why are you not, uh... Alright, I'm going to take this end where Mrs. TPHI is there. Only the two of us together? Well, there's only two of us here flying, so yeah. Pre-flight stage. Why are you still on pre-flight stage? Taxi out, it's on now. Okay, good. Alright, little pocket rocket. When you're ready. I may end up having to park in front of you otherwise. Yeah, look at it go! Yeah, pocket rocket. That's awesome. I do like that plane. We probably should actually do a flight in, in them. Everybody can jump in them. Nice. All right. Let's give that a uh, swap, swap, swap on. And we should be good to go. Oh, hang on. What flight level we're supposed to be going at? 8,200. Okay. Well... Thank 
you. Two night headwind. All right, cool. Take a GPS. Thank you. Alt. All right, hang up. Let's uh, back that off. Prop pitch. Thank you. Vertical speed. Thank you. 1100 will do. All right, good. Yep. 8200. All right, good. Nice. All right. See you later. PNG. Wow, look at that. So this is Australian. That's PNG. Pretty close, isn't it? Why? Oh, look, I kind of know why, but why we hung on to this island is still part of Australia, not just going. There you go, PNG. That's yours. Um, because PNG used to be part of Australia, or at least it used to be a territory of Australia, and then we went and handed them over to independence. Uh, back in the 70s, it was it, or 60s, 70s? I can't remember. I have to look that up. History, hey? Now, I thought I could hear around there somewhere. Wow, we're down to seven views. I kind of stretch it out past the three hour mark and we lose everybody. Probably the timing. But thanks for those who hung around. Is that the same ship? No, I think it's a different one. Let's jump over the other side. What can we see? Just an island. Much on that island. It's 10:22 p.m. here. Hubby went to bed a while ago. Yeah, could you guys get up like a crack of dawn, or before dawn cracks? Let's move that on. Um, 10.22, what time did I normally finish streams before 9.22, yes. 9 o'clock. I was about to say over 8 o'clock when you didn't have wars. Interesting that the... Um, Stream does say that it's uh, running poor today, as opposed to you normally would. I don't know if that's internet or if it's because I'm using that dashboard thing up the top there. I've never seen it this time anyway. I don't know where you stay up late. Um, I'd like to say thank you very much again for those who uh, gave gifted memberships such as Colonel Indiana Longnuts. Also those who have the milestones, appreciate your support. I uh, hope we continue doing all this. Uh, two mops, Mr. TPHI, Mrs. TPHI, Country Bumpkin, Bumpkin Simulations, uh, six months. Actually, when was that? Oh, that's actually the other day. You know, why is it that new member? That was the other day. Okay. The country bumpkin simulation was today, yeah. Thank you guys.
I think YouTube not like an AV1 settings. As long as you guys are getting, uh, oh, look at those lights hanging out. Oh, you're like a UFO with extra lights poking out the side. And there's another VHIZH to YSII. Okay. That's just where we left. What if that's meant to be another Skytrans? Probably. Alright, when we get back home, hang on, how are we going for altitude? We're over five, so let's turn these guys off. Eight two? Eight two is our flight level. Eighty two hundred. B H I Z H. I'm tempted to go and do a run over there for drone. Hey Shane. We saw you flying around before. Um, let's just do this speed. 250. Oh, we do have music playing in the background. I think I need to go faster. Alright, I'm going to have to go faster. There we go. Please let it be a caravan with Skytrans livery. No, it's not. Oh, this is something that's taken off out of YSII. Is that Emirates? Wait, what? Or Ethiopian. Whoa. No Euro wings. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think my, um... Oh, I can't remember what the program I'm using uh, that changes the aircraft old aircraft deliveries and aircraft shape is actually working. Hmm. Alright, get into altitude, we've slowed right down, let's see if we can speed this up. What is the time? 12.30. Oh, I'm getting a little bit hungry. Need some banana bread. <laughs> Somebody got it. I don't know where VHIZH is going. I wonder if they're the same flight that I'm actually doing. Skytrans is not coming up with the right uh, right aircraft and livery. Where are you flying to, Mr. Shane McKinley? Redo our barrow again, no, that's fine. 
hitting 191 at 165 knots. Actually, that thing is good. What's the ETA? Uh, what is that stuff not coming up with? Hmm, I wonder why the overlay doesn't come up with the ETA. Flight status, ETA, doesn't know. nautical miles yeah, well we're flying pretty much all the way up to Papua New Guinea in, in one of these now Horn Island definitely a hub sounds like a little bit Google Maps We're talking about up here. It's Thursday Island. It's been Horn Island. Yeah, there it is. There. Let's have a look on uh, satellite picture. Friday Island, Thursday Island, Prince of Wales Island, Wednesday Island. How do you think they got those names? Well, uh, we stopped at this one on Wednesday, we stopped at that one on Thursday, and we went to that one on Friday. We left our goods on that island. Oh, yeah, somebody's right in front of me, I see, yeah. So, where's Tuesday and Monday Island? Is there a Tuesday and Monday, or Sunday? Saturday Island? Nope. Not that I see. Twin Island, okay. Disappeared, you were so close, oh, you were right in front of my uh, nose there. For a second. Nope, now you're behind. Yeah, you wouldn't have been able to find me unless you looked right behind me because you were, you were like just above my propeller. Almost. Disappear if you got that uh, proximity thing turned off. <coughs> Ah, there you are. Ish. Here I am. I put my frame rate thing right run up there. For well, 4K, it's doing all right. I think there's another uh, NVIDIA driver though, and I'm worried about getting it. Marking it up. Shane's doing island hopping here. Whoa. Feel the Reaper, mate. XF11. I don't own the XF11, but it does look really good. Just, uh, I need to save some money. Oh, now you're going to get chased. You're in for it. <laughs> good luck getting away from the, from the, uh, little pink rocket there. Grab another drink, hang on. It has definitely been an island hopping uh, stream today. Another six flights. Another, how long have we been flying for? Three hours? Probably been flying at least three hours out of the three and a half hour stream. That's cool. 
We are chasing that other plane. I reckon it's going to start Horn Island as well. Oh yeah, what time was my flight meant to be? Part at 3.25. TC and we departed at one okay no it's a different time then so we didn't actually set it at the right time we just did live time those who have made it this far into the stream, what type of flights would you like to see more of? Like I'm considering, and I've mentioned this before, getting back into my warbirds, because I really do love the warbirds. Also the, um, <clears throat> oh, I think this aircraft's going through land here. Um, also, the jet fighters. You may not see a lot of commercial stuff with me, but I may do some practice. Um, and I'm probably going to do this once a week, the pilot's life. Uh, we'll see if we can get ourselves up with license and stuff. We've only got... Let's have a quick look at the dashboard. We've only got... Uh, initial license. I've done 10 jobs. Our bank account has 3113 in it. We can buy another license with that. Um, we have done 15 flights now. And, oh, it's seven and a half hours flying time. Okay, my points are already gone up. 485 out of 2,000 to get to the next rank. Okay, that's good. people like to see like what I would say uh, Mrs. CBHI is buzzing around in VL3 I'm happy to do something that uh, goes as fast as that and we can go and find, find some areas F11 is awesome. Oh, the F14 too, yes. The heat blur has got a new update on their version as well. XF11 is awesome in VR, seeing those two big engines. Yes, I saw Gambi Wombat version of that, uh, VR flight of that, and it looked very impressive. Which almost made me want to go and buy it. But I'm trying to hang out for uh, getting other stuff at the moment. Some interesting views on this. what you like. I mean, fast flights, slow flights, I'm thinking about getting the Tiger Moth out again, which means you're going to have to find something to go really slow or you're just going to be there in no time. Um, yeah. I'm going to work out what to do when though, because uh, my wife's on holiday next week. I'm thinking she's going to want to spend time with me. Oh, there's a shot for you. Oh my god.
Wow. <clears throat> Has a heap of views. All right, what are we at? 22 nautical miles out. Let's do a gentle descend. Why didn't I put my yaw damper on? Oops. I don't think I'd lose points for that. Zooming in and just give me the thank you. Probably 500. We're 21 nautical miles out. We're only at 80. 8100. We'll back off as well. I can do it. <laughs> you can go slow. Okay. So Mrs. TPHI, does your hubby have the side mounted um, platforms on his seat, like what I have for the HOTAS, or does he only have stuff in front? I'm curious to know. So I don't think he has the HOTAS, you've got it now, haven't you? very difficult getting in and out of mine. Um, I am a big guy but trying to climb in and out with that uh, centre thing in there. Um, I know you can take it out and have just the side things <clears throat> um, but like I showed you this a moment ago, that's my left hand side one so that I can climb in. But it also has extended bolts and supports so that it goes in and away from the seat further. Yeah, okay, that's, that's fine. I did see a picture. I'm just thinking, I do find it hard to get in and out. I, I, I like the release thing, so that it goes forward so you can climb in and, and pull it up and then, but I, I can't reach down there and tighten it up well enough because I got a yoke in the way then. So you got to get like between the yoke and stuff to tighten it up. I'm like, no. And I've got too much stuff on, it's too heavy now. So I've had to add extra support. So what I'm thinking about doing is getting, actually probably easier to talk inside. I'm thinking about getting the, oh, what are they called again? Um, I think it's T-mount. Uh, Yeah, slotted, aluminium uh, slotted stuff, this one, this is, this is somebody's uh, web page about buying it. So this slotted metal stuff, so that what you can do is you can actually build frame stuff. You put the bolts in there, and then you screw, uh, put something on it and screw the nut to it. Um, and you can undo it and move it up and down uh, the rod, so, um, well, I don't know what, 1595 gets you, and I'm not sure how long that is. Um, length one millimeter? Sorry, what? One, one meter? I don't know. Um, but yeah, that, that stuff. You can also buy. Oh, this is. I've never bought anything on Timu before, but it came up as Timu. You can buy these angled things that so they actually slot into it and allow you to make frame stuff. I'm thinking I'll actually build a frame around so I can climb in and out. Um, you're too short. The seat moves. The 
the seat moves forward. It's got a, a little pull bar thing to, to make it go forward. You had to make me look at it. Because I've got the same one. Wouldn't be able to use the rudder pedals. Oh no! Um, <clears throat> yeah, I had to move my rudder pedals forward too because I, I couldn't uh, I couldn't put my feet on them enough to press the toe parts for the brakes. Um, so I actually had to move them back because they were adjustable. But they're adjustable by undoing the bolts, moving it, and then redoing up the bolts. If you or your hubby are getting in and out all the time, they're not quick release move tire back up. Nice and sunny day, says Michael. Nice, it's not here. It's uh, it's been raining. All right, which way is our wind coming? Should we do the same landing? I don't think so. I think what we'll do. I need to slow right down. Hold that uh, thought, Mr. Singer. We are going to. Make sure we don't go below 15 degrees of descend. I'm going to AP off. I'm going to descend probably a little bit quicker. And we're going to come out from this angle. And I'm going to fly in so that I can go straight up to the uh, parking spot. Now look, Mrs. TPHI has already done that. She's already over there ready to go. Very nice. I didn't put my landing lights on. I'm on initial approach, so I should still be able to uh, get away with that. We use one level of flaps. Two knot tailwind now. And the wind comes from everywhere. Rain tomorrow. Morning, not to play pool. Nice. Hang on, what did you do? I won the game of 10 pin bowling today. Good on you, mate. Between you and Connor, always talking about 10 pin bowling, I'm thinking, man, I haven't been for years. But there is one in town. <clears throat> I've not crosswind down here. Okay, I probably could have gone around and come in from the other end. Well, that sucks. Probably still can. Six knot. Should have. Seven knot. God, those keep changing the wind on me. There was none when we're coming in, or maybe one knot. Still okay. Can I have taxi lights on? Flaps up. Slow down. This is where I need to have, have those buttons where I don't have to press a mouse to do it. Oh, it makes a bit of noise, doesn't it? Yep. The strobes can go off. Oh, 
This looks like a good place to park. I feel the Reaper doesn't have the same... Oh no, because you got it on plane. I don't have it really tall. Yeah, okay. I say it doesn't have the same scenery, but he, he does. His plane's just mega tall. That'll do. Lights off. Uh, let's see if we can beat 98%. No, still can't get those flaps right. I just cannot. No matter where you do it, on the runway, or off the runway, or on the edge of the runway, or after you put your taxi lights on, or... I got 98%. Alright, look. 98's what it is, 98's what it is. Um, let's submit that flight. Pleasure, Michael, mate. It's great to be back and flying. Um, Skytrans is the thing we're here, so let's go have a look. My rating's gone up to 96.1 instead of 94.8 um, because I keep getting... Uh, where, where do I have a look at my achievements? I've got a, another achievement. What did I get? Oh, complete 10 flights. Uh, yeah, I did that before. Uh, smooth landing, less than 50. I think I did that before. Uh, Harley Ward, on time departure, sync with plan departure. I did that before, yeah. I did one of those before. All right, I don't know. Maybe I did a good landing. Um, inventory. No, I haven't bought anything. So we haven't earned any more money. We won't until next Monday because it comes out in each week. Um, don't have photos. How do I look at my previous flights? All right, schedule is empty. Yes. So I want to get rid of the short haul. Go medium and long only. Um, so, but before we do that, there we go. Logbook. My first flight was a 92 when I realized, oh, i got to change some things. And then 95, 93, 94, 93, 94, 93, 98, 98, 98, 96, 98, 96, 94, because I forgot, don't don't restart the plane and get jump back into it. And a 98, 98. Wow. Yeah. So let's get another schedule for next week. We can put some music on the background. I don't want the short hauls. Uh, round trips from hubs, random trips, random continued trips. Oh wait, what's this? Oh, starting from random trips. Round trips from hubs. Let's just do random trips and see what we get. Nope, can't do it. Because we're in the Cessna only, okay. From hubs. Oh no. We can only do short trips. Let's go random trips and put on short haul as well. Okay. There's a... Um, Oh, that's actually not too bad. There's a Cohen Airport to Cairns. All right, so we have another horn to York, followed by a Cohen to Cairns of 248 nautical miles. That's a better flight. And then there's another coming back from Say Say Bay Airport. Um, And another Cairns to, I have no idea what that is, Kawa and Yama. Maybe Outback, another Horn. Okay, another Co and the Cairns. And yeah, all right, let's take that one. So next week, we'll do another Horn Island. Actually, I might do the Horn Island one by myself. And then um, what we'll do is we'll start off with a uh, Cohen Airport to Cairns. 
and then we might pop in a short flight and then another Cairns uh, to wherever that one is. I have no idea where it is. Um, that's an hour and 45 and that's an hour and 37. The 45 minute flight in between. Whoa, hey. Actually, that might add up. Um, let's work out and see what, what these flights are doing. So, um, <clears throat> yeah. So, next week's schedule. Uh, or I might regenerate that and see what else we get. But, uh, obviously I can't do long hauls. Actually, I'll leave that. We might, uh, random continued trips. Ooh, that might be a better way of doing it. I might look at that one too. But I'll, um, I'll work it out. Uh, thank you everybody for coming and flying with me. Um, for those who are still here at the airport, a lot of other people came and went. It's probably pretty late for some of you. Mighty's probably saying, yep, good night, it's late. Um, <clears throat> what a Beechcraft over there. FD 480, is that a... Yeah, that'd be a... Um, uh, AI, I guess. Um, but let's just get this uh, camera going and then um, but I am actually going to finish here. Thank you very much. Let's go a little faster. Appreciate you guys coming along. Uh, it's nice to be back in the air. I actually really enjoy it. Thank you everybody for those who gave their milestone and also uh, the members. Colonel Indiana, Colonel Indiana Longnuts, you're a legend, mate. Thank you very much. Everybody else, have a great evening day afternoon morning whatever it might be and i will catch you guys keep an eye out there I might put an extra couple of streams this week but i'll catch you in the next one cheers guys bye